Thank you for speaking with us, uh, Coach, after that uh, win. What was your kind of assessment of the game overall and kind of how you were able to still kind of be patient enough to find holes through Chicago's defense? Hi, Andrew. Um, well, I think we today we've we've had maybe one of the best games in, in this season. In terms of uh, what we wanted to do, I think the game plan was pretty clear. Players just executed very good. So we know that <clears throat> we wanted to be close to the ball and try to be patient with long attacks and try to disorganize them. And that situation also uh, could help us just in case we lose the ball, uh, try to press and try to win it back because we know that uh, Chicago is a team with a really strong counterattack, especially if they find uh, Swanson there between lines. So they are very dangerous. Dangerous, and I think we, today we've done a great job with ball and also really good rest defense, uh, creating chances and and also scoring goals. So happy with the performance. Thank you. And I had uh, just one question to kind of talk about the start of the game. Um, I think the first 15 or maybe 20 minutes, it seemed like it was just a lot of duels in midfield and it was hard to kind of keep either team to keep hold of the ball. What did you see during that period and what was kind of the message to the team to help settle them so that they could start to move the ball around? Well, the first minutes are always uh, complicated because uh, there are a lot of emotions and players need to set a little bit um they their feelings so they need to to see also how the opponent is doing so i think the first 10 15 minutes so the game is always a little bit you know crazy so a lot of second balls but after that i think we we would just follow our game plan uh we could have more possession and i think we we've identified especially where the spaces were uh, i think today especially through the width, we we progressed very good. Uh, because of that, also we could find Croy between lines, and then I think uh, Trin, Hachi, and Ule as a forward. And yeah, I think uh, after those 10, 15 minutes, the team um, just uh, was uh, more patient, and, and we could progress much better. Appreciate it. Thank you, and uh, congrats on the win. Thank you. <clears throat> Ella, go ahead. Hi, Adrian. Thanks for being here. Um, you've mentioned, you know, as we've talked after previous games about Trinity's finishing and how she was kind of, you know, longing to get that first goal. How big was getting that first goal for her as a player and then even just for the team getting that first goal in this game? Yeah, uh, really good. Uh, I think she she deserves that. Uh, she's been training so hard, focusing on, on that. She wants to improve and also I think um, a player like her being uh, that humble, I think it's very important because she is always uh, ready to improve. And I'm happy because um, she's been creating a lot of chances and today finally she could score. And I'm sure uh, from here she's going to continue scoring goals and creating chances because uh, she's performing very good. And then just a follow up question on Brittany Ratcliffe. Um, this isn't the first time she's come off the bench and scored just a, you know, a sensational goal like that. What value does she bring to this team and her ability to come off the bench as a substitute and change a game like that? Yeah, she brings a lot of energy. She she can make runs behind, a really good 1v1, really powerful player. And also she's scoring goals. So in terms of defense, also she's working hard. And, you know, with the last 20, 30 minutes when maybe the the team needs a little bit more energy, so she's helping us a lot in those situations. So, so happy because she's training also very hard, and I'm sure that she will be uh, helping the team in the future because um, uh, what we are finding her also, and she's helping us a lot. Thanks, appreciate it. Any more questions before we go back to Andre? Oh, Peyton, go ahead. Hi, Adrian. Um, we saw Croy get a trio of assists tonight, which is incredibly impressive in and of itself, but two of those were back to back to Ratcliffe. Um, and we haven't seen them get to play together as much with Brittany coming off the bench, as we've mentioned. Um, 
But I guess I'm kind of curious about if that's a dynamic that's also been building through practices and trainings and if you're kind of looking for those different dynamics um, throughout the team, throughout the different kind of layers that you can put out onto the field, uh, or if there are certain ones that you're putting more of a focus towards. Yeah, we are training that for sure. <clears throat> it's so, so according to the week, how we feel the players are performing. But um, for me, the key point here is that players now they understand much better each other, the the idea, and also the their connections now are appearing. So not just uh, Croy with Twins or with uh, Breed, Ule, Hachi, those players now, they understand much better and they, they have a huge talent. So if they are in a good spot, if they occupy the space is good, then they, their talent appears. Uh, so I think that is what uh, now is happening and I'm very happy because uh, we have different strengths, different type of players, different profiles. We can attack in a different ways and also according to the opponent or what is happening in that moment in the game, we can we can switch, we can have different options. Thank you. Thank you. And Andre wraps up. Uh, thank you. So I wanted to jump in. I have two questions actually, one player specific. I wanted to talk about uh, your reaction to Croy. Uh, three assists in a game is kind of wild, but this is also four in her last two games. Um, we know she started off the year kind of drawing penalties and scoring herself. Um, now we're starting to see her get the ball behind the line. And so just wanted you to speak to like her performance and what more we can expect from her perhaps. I don't know, maybe that's a question for her. So uh, I think uh, she has a huge talent. Um, she's showing that um, she can score goals, she can assist. So she's helping to keep the ball. <clears throat> She's identifying also very good uh, where the advantages are. And also she's improving uh, defensively. And that I think that's very important because we we ask all players that they need to to help us uh, with those those uh, moments that when we need to press. And I think she's also winning a lot of balls. And yeah, uh, good performance again. Uh, she's still young, so we need to be patient with her. But again, uh, she's gonna she's gonna improve for sure because she's hungry. She's uh, she wants to be better, and and I think uh, she's performing very good. Appreciate that, and yeah, I'll, I'll maybe I will ask her what else she has planned uh, for the rest of the season. Um, last thing I wanted to ask is just about the team and the 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 flow of the game. It looked like the game was well in control for a while, and then as this league tends to do, gets a little chaotic toward the end, yeah. but the spirit respond with two goals. How important was it? Because we've seen some moments where the other team scores and suddenly the team is kind of discombobulated. How important was it to score and kind of take control back of the game? Yeah, <clears throat> I think we need to learn also from these situations because um, if I'm honest, I think today it was a, a game that we we deserve to win because I think we... We've played very good. Uh, we've created more chances, um, and I think that we don't need to to struggle at the end, uh, considering that goal uh, with a one-two. Uh, those things uh, can happen, but we need to avoid that because I think we we had the control and and the the game. We need to know how to how to end the game and how to finish. But after that, I think the team had a good reaction. We are working also on that on those uh, scenarios when we score a goal when we concede a goal what do we what do we do after that and i think also we are building a strong mindset and we know which behaviors we want after those situations and i think the the team is is doing pretty good also in those situations appreciate it thank you very much and congrats on the win again thank you